from El Centro with more. And so much at stake here, but not just for these candidates, but for the city. And speaking to some residents, what I came to find is that at the end of the day, they all just want to know that they are safe. Four candidates, Tomas Oliva, Sonia Carter, Jason Jackson, and Danielle Flores are all campaigning in a city where police say crime has gone up and down over the years. Just Monday morning, a shooting left one man dead in El Centro, something candidates are not taking too lightly. I 100% back our, our police officers and sheriffs and fire department and whoever's out there helping people, I back them up because it takes, a, it takes a village to help people. According to the Center for American Progress, voters believe that crime is rising in the country. Whether it be mental health, emotional health, that needs to be addressed first before you can give someone housing and expect them to be able to bounce back. The homeless crisis in California is also being felt in El Centro. Jason Jackson says more needs to be done. Homelessness is out of control. Um, we, we're like literally surrendering parts of our city to homelessness. And, um, and I think that's, that's a big part of you know, what I'm coming back to do. We've got to work with different um, uh, stakeholders, uh, mental health, uh, the county uh, operations, social services and such, and try to get the people the services that we can. Only two seats on the city council. I did reach out to Danielle Flores, but we have yet to hear back. Reporting in El Centro, I'm Wiley Jahari. And the race for U.S. Congress is also starting to... Well, intensify a little bit. The Republican candidate Brian Hawkins campaigning in Imperial County today. And our reporter Karina Bazarte brings us this candidate profile. I'm in the American Academy School where Hawkins tells me this is just one of the places he has helped get financial resources, reminding him of why he is running. Republican candidate Pastor Brian Hawkins running in the 25th district against Democrat U.S. Congressman Raul Ruiz. Hawkins says he wants to be the voice for the people who have struggled with poverty. Growing up in San Diego, Pastor Hawkins says he grew up poor and it made him realize he wanted to help others. The Constitution tells us to do, you know, promote for the general welfare of, of others. And this is the time right now that we start promoting that. And it's not, not just talk about it. Hawkins says when he speaks to voters, Brawley is one of his main focuses. Notice that Brawley is a jewel in the valley but it's also an overlooked area. Um, and I believe that areas that are overlooked are the ones that need it the most. One of these places in Brawley is American Beauty Academy School. I spoke to the owner who says she's impressed in how Hawkins has connected with the community. I feel he actually is out in the community meeting and 